Welcome into Taco Bowler Gaming! My name is Taco Bowler. Today we continue to play Grand Tactician The Civil War and uh, playing as the Union here trying to uh, respond to the stuff that has been uh, that had been happening there uh, at the end of the year in the last uh, year and then into uh, into uh, the winter, and so we're trying to uh, re-knock down their, their morale a little bit. As a part of that, we've gone and taken Richmond. Um, Winchester's probably open if I can get their readiness up there. We're going to try and force these guys out, but we've taken the Cumberland Gap. Hopefully we can take Knoxville. But uh, the last one was we had to take Carroll in Arkansas and Little Rock. So the Army of Missouri is retreating, as they should be. Uh, once they're done retreating, we'll try and get them over to Cairo, meet up with these guys, and march on Memphis. And meanwhile, these guys over here, the Army of Kansas and the Army of Iowa, they have full readiness. We've taken Carroll. I think that they can go ahead and march on Little Rock, as far as I'm concerned. Come on. There we go. So we'll have them go ahead and march on Little Rock. And that will retake what the Confederacy so painstakingly took from us uh, there at the end. I think it's worth looking at, you know, there's tons of, of these small armies over here. But it's worth looking at where the nearest major city is. I think it's just Knoxville. So we do have the large Missouri State Guard, the small Army of Georgia hanging out there so I think that these guys just get take out uh, this army as best they can force it to retreat as best they can and then come down here and uh, once this is constructed in about 37 days we can march on Knoxville and hopefully we can can take that um, and then figure it out if we have Knoxville and Memphis uh, we might be able to uh, to do something with Nashville or something along those lines there. Also, if we can take Winchester, we can start to, you know, really push this uh, this front line advantage and actually flatten it out and really push into the south. We just have to get the Confederacy under, uh, under 25. So, fingers are crossed on that one. We can make that happen. All right, um... I think we'll we'll save around. Well, eventually we'll need supply reform. Eventually. So let us go. At the moment, I'm not recruiting more men. Uh, we do have 78,000 in reserve, but my credit rating being at B, <laughs> um, I'm not overly uh, interested in, in this. Hunt is low on supply, the Army of Missouri. Uh, well, yes. We knew that. Get some more supply as you go. All right, but Pike was withdrawing. Uh, Army of Maine's in the the Eastern Group over by Richmond, right? It is. All right, so Richmond has fallen. That's only two. The Army of Vermont is uh, continuing to be slow. It seems to be a standard thing with them. So, I think um, we're going to have them continue to be... There, boy, I wish I could select groups. We're going to have Vermont continue to be uh, behind. And uh, I'm going to put the Department of the East right in the middle. And then Vermont will build a... Uh, 
a fort in Richmond. Hmm. Not really sure why they're going that slowly. The Army of the Potomac, I feel, is alone, but uh, these little rings just mean they're core of a, another army. But the Army of New Jersey just does not have the readiness. We don't have the readiness to fight them in that group, which is sad, but okay. Not really sure why you two have not... Uh, marched on uh, the army of West Tennessee here. We're supposed to be forcing them back. Good, they still have their orders. Alright, they forced them back. I don't know where they're going to wind up going. Polk. The Army of West Tennessee seems to have withdrawn. Indeed. So now we have all that, except we don't have uh, London. We're, we're going to have to to keep moving. Keep you guys moving. Um, to Somerset. Because we have to keep this this whole thing open until the railway is constructed. Um, hopefully that wasn't military railway construction, infrastructure reform, weapon production. Uh, we want weapon production. That's what we want. All right, Petersburg is taken. Uh, the Army of New York is at Orange, so we need to wait a little bit here. This should be, uh... Can I build a fort, though? <laughs> With the credit rating I currently have... I don't know. I hope so. Where are we on our current policy? Uh, we're 7.5 days away from that. We can't get the the improved credit rating yet, right? Nope. How close are we? 0 0.1 million. Where's the Army of Missouri? Look at this nonsense. You guys are still going to move or not? Why did you not move? I'm not sure. All right, well, we're going to move here, try and force them out. Um, the Army of Arkansas, 21,000 strong. Yeah. Definitely have to worry about that. All right, readiness is uh, is increasing, but not for the Army of New Jersey. It really doesn't feel like it. Okay, the Missouri State Guard and the Army of Georgia have marched on the Army of Ohio, the Army of Indiana, and the Department of Ohio. I uh, feel like that we should be able to win this. Hopefully we can. We're going to play it. Uh, what is this uh, broken here in the Army of Indiana? 1,500 men. Okay.
That's part of the problem, huh? Play battle. Okay. <clears throat> so, we're going to be playing the uh, first part of this really quickly. Um, even though it loaded up as a, uh, a you know, meat, meat and battle, um, I actually wound up uh, starting out defensively, and on top of that, it is a 10-point thing, a 10-point victory point with a massive river that I believed to be large enough you couldn't cross it. Um, and so I, I prepare a very long uh, defensive line across this river and then realize, oh wait, no, you can't cross it, so I really only have to defend these, these crossings. And I will uh, eventually be running up and down the river to make sure that they're the only crossings right here. That's what I'm doing. Uh, but it's really those two crossings. That's literally it. Other than that, you got to go all the way around where I was right there uh, to, uh, to get across this river. And so uh, I just set up some parapets in the, the big places here, try and figure out how to upgrade the parapets. Uh, just not quite sure I ever figured that out successfully, but... Uh, uh, you know, we did enough here. Uh, and then I still have 13 points left uh, after getting there, and hopefully I can can upgrade that and get it going, but um, now I just am going to try to connect things a little bit with some, some longer parapet, or some longer breastworks just to, to sort of connect my position. And then we're just going to set up the armies. Um, and uh, in this case, I, I've got a, a very good uh, spot, and because I don't have to defend that entire area, um, I've got the ability to hold some back. So here I'm going to look at the cannons and try to figure out where they can, can be to fire on, uh, on the uh, crossing itself. And then I'm just going to set a, a division behind things and, and make it good. Here we're, we're setting up against this crossing and trying to make that division turn. There we go. Uh, we're just going to set up there. And then figure out what to do with this division of artillery, which is a better division of artillery in terms of morale. So we'll put it up where I expect the crossings to be and put that one over on the side. Which I mean, the side's just there just in case, right? Which obviously, if I say it like that, means it's going to be a key factor. But now we're set up, and then we wait. You'll notice that this is still going really, really fast, uh, because it is still important that um, it gets going, because we wait a long time. Now granted, we're way up here in the corner of the map, uh, and the Confederates had to come from the far south side of the map, so um, they had a long ways to go, but still, we were waiting a long, long time time. Uh, but I uh, just keep trying to figure out better ways to do things. I've got most of my army is in the green cover of a parapet or breastwork uh, and so I'm just taking the, the few units that aren't and trying to find a way to get them into that uh, you know green coverage. And just when I'm thinking I'm gonna put skirmishers up at that far northern bridge just in case we see some Confederates. Now these are cavalry units, and my artillery is going to blow into them and just destroy them. However, if you'll notice, they just crossed the river without uh, messing around at the bridge. They just crossed it. Um, I don't think there's a crossing there. We do later later see uh, a unit that, that fails to cross at, at that kind of point and has to go around. So I think it's just something to do with cavalry. Um, but we'll see. Um, I, I don't really know what, what that's about, as to why they were able to just cross the river right in front of my artillery, but I got a little bit lucky in that they they went back across the river and went after the infantry instead of charging directly into my artillery, where they could have done a lot of damage. But here I'm moving my, my uh, reserve division over to be behind that artillery. If they're going to be able to uh, just cross the river, I need to be worried about that. But now those two... Uh, Two brigades of cavalry have a runaway. No problem. Moving on. We've now gotten to a minor victory. 
And here my, my artillery are going to do a little bit of a dance as I'm trying to get them back where they're supposed to be, uh, behind the breastwork. But that dance is over, and there we go. And so now we're just set up, and we wait, and we wait, and we wait. And then we wait some more. And uh, lots of uh, in-real-life playtime that was taken up from this. Uh, but finally, here comes something, and it is cannons. You'll notice that the, one of those units that just broke there uh, is uh, off the battlefield. So, uh, yeah, so it's cannons. So I assume that that's what took the army so long to get up here was the fact that they were stuck behind cannons. But, yeah. Uh, the other thing there is that that's a whole bunch more. Now, only two broke. And yet, here we see that Duncan is the entire army of Georgia has left. Now, granted, the army of Georgia was pretty small to begin with, but still. Uh, but here we have a whole bunch of cannon and two brigades of infantry. We will see a general by the name of Johnston uh, come up at some point with them. So, um, I don't know if they were the... Uh, if they were the uh, entire army force. I don't know what was going on with them. But uh, I'm glad that my cannons can actually fire further than they appeared to be able to. But uh, yeah, we're just going to tear into uh, the artillery there. Broke that artillery. The horse artillery there. And so now we continue to fire. <laughs> we've got another artillery. And we've got uh, horses and all sorts of things. As they're just trying to get across here. And uh, you just stay in the coverage of that forest. But we've ruined their cohesion and all sorts of things. Um, they really struggle to uh, to get through. In fact, watch those two uh, brigades of infantry, and you'll see them just start to dance as they just really have no idea what to do. And my uh, artillery continues to pound them um, all the way through. But they just keep marching across, and they, they're they trying to get across there. So now I'm aware that they are going to go across the river. Um, I bring as many of my reserves as I dare over to uh, the edge of the forest just to continue to uh, protect that area over there uh, without giving up too much of my defensive positioning. Uh, but here I'm noticing that they have a ton of cannons that they have abandoned right there, guarded by a single another cannon. But uh, at this point, uh, being that it's about, uh, what would that be, about 3.30 in the afternoon, and uh, I'm a little bit where there's the dance going <laughs> there. I don't know what that was. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, given that they're, this shouldn't be their entire army, there's still 26,000 men, and that's definitely not 26,000 men that I can see, I decided to leave those cannons and not go after them at the moment. And just try to, uh, to continue to harass these guys as they cross by and uh, stay in my defensive positioning. As best I can. And here I'm going to move some of my cannons from the side that's clearly not being attacked currently on over there. Just get an infantry unit to guard the river crossing, but other than that uh, we're just going to move a couple of cannons over to uh, try to fire at that uh, cavalry unit. So now, uh, our deployment zone includes the other side of the river, and so that forces uh, Johnson's army to uh, be bunched up there and be have been shoved, shoved around. Now, I don't know why these uh, these engineering things didn't build immediately, uh, but then they, lay, they later will build um, when I go to click on them. Now they're built, right? <laughs> uh, and also struggle really well to, to get the units onto the things. So uh, here we just say, oh, I'll just get on behind the breastwork, which is fine until this one gets on the parapet, which, okay. <laughs> I don't know uh, what that does, but that puts more things directly uh, against that army there. We just move the entire cannon division over to face there and then realize, that, oh, there's a cannon here. Don't know what that is about, but we'll just get in position to deal with that. And then I just take my entire division over here because now I'm going to go after those guns. Let's see if I can't grab them quickly and get back in in my own, uh, my own lands. Um, grabbed another uh, 
brigade and hoped that was enough, but uh, spoiler, it wouldn't be. There's eight cannons over here. Eight of them. So I'm going to have to grab some more things and uh, hope that we can, can get them... Uh, get them all behind the things. I don't know if uh, once you've taken one, if that same detachment can go get another one. I want to say it can, but I wasn't going to risk that uh, immediately here. No idea what happened to that one. You know, it said over there it may have been part of the division when I pulled it off. I don't know. But here we've, we've broken everything except those uh, two infantry brigades and I guess that cannon for now. Uh, but everything is, is uh, broken and shattered. Um, and so now it's just a matter of uh, mop up and, and trying to break those cannons and hoping that the rest of the 26,000 is indeed leaving somewhere. Here what I found interesting is they were clearly charging and they met that uh, met the breast uh, the parapet and uh, stopped for a significant amount of time as they tried to get over that. And we got a couple more volleys in before they managed to uh, to get the charge in, but then it wound up you know being three on one. So. Uh, they broke, we didn't have anyone break, which is unusual, but also good. So now we have one unit of infantry, which is enough again, right now, to guard those cannons. So I'm going to bring some of my infantry up to get past those cannons, so that I can then send other units to go capture those cannons, uh, and bring them behind our, our lovely defensive works. And so here we go. That has been achieved. Now, that one infantry brigade is is going to hold out for a little bit, but uh, not going to be a huge deal. And I know that uh, in this sped up thing, you can't hear the original audio, but uh, the original audio is going to be really, really key here in a moment. Um, I'm going to pull my my units that were attacking that one uh, infantry division. I'm going to pull them back to behind the uh, the defensive lines uh, right right about now. And uh, things are going to go really quiet. We're going to not have uh, any real... Uh, anyone really attacking. Uh, and then I will hear the sounds of, of uh, combat. And that's when I'll have to figure out where is the combat, what's going on and realize that I'm actually being attacked uh, on the road by what's, you know, the remainder of, uh, of this army. Um, wasn't great. Also, we had this one, for some reason, had routed. Um, they, they lost 51 men somehow. Not really sure what caused that loss, but uh, they had uh, abandoned their, their uh, the weapons they had coming in, so... Uh, here, I'm going to let them uh, go, and there we go. We've taken the, that back, and now I see it. So uh, we're just going to turn all of this infantry around, hopefully get the uh, cannons to continue to walk you know, across the line. Uh, but importantly, one of the cannons is on the, uh, the back side of that, was being attacked, and will eventually uh, leave the cannons again. Uh, and which would be uh, a bit of a problem. And I, th I think we we don't we don't occupy those cannons at the end of the uh, battle as a result of that. But hey, you do what you can. So we quickly knock out those cav, and then try to again just get across the river or at least guard that place and guard the the people trying to come and, and take those guns back but we'll see here uh the the uh retreat notification is going to happen relatively quickly i think uh and then uh then at that point it's, it's a matter of uh of uh racing to try and get out there with something that still has another division to to capture, <laughs> you capture the thing, uh, which does fail. Uh, the unit I bring out there uh, does not uh, ever 
detach something, so they must have had another detachment somewhere, uh, which is fine. But yeah, a victory at uh, Strawberry Plains Bridge. Uh, pretty good casualty ratio, too. Victory at Strawberry Plains Bridge. The Missouri State Guard fleeing in panic will never not feel good. The enemy has reportedly suffered total casualties of 2,376. We have suffered 893. Sweet. I am a little concerned about the supply alert that we have here. Um, but, I mean, we are building that uh, supply depot in that area, so uh, we're doing that for a reason. Uh, the army of Shenandoah was on its way to to find them. That's a thing. These guys are continuing to march. Oh, they're they're not marching to Somerset. Okay. Meanwhile, we have a uh, army that is here. Curious, what is going to happen with that? If that battle starts, we'll have to uh, end the episode with that. Yes, funding policy two is enabled. Yeah, I know everyone's low on supply. I got that because I have a supply alert. Not sure why uh, some of these have stayed that way, though. Improve credit rating. One step goes up. Good. Puts this at B plus. It's something. I think that we need the revenue act. What this will do is uh, um, the uh, income tax is instituted, which historically it was instituted at this time. Um, and that will get us some more money, which we need. Yeah, I'm quite curious why Jackson's army oh, up in 19,000. They're trying to guard the uh, road to Lynchburg. Quite curious why the army of Pennsylvania and New Jersey are suffering um, supply penalties here. I mean, I guess we'll uh, build a uh, supply depot around. Why don't you build it? Go ahead and, and move you over here. And we'll see if we can get some supply. This should be supplied, this area. And it indeed is, because we have the supply depot in Richmond. So we're, we're good on that front. They're, they're going to be growing their army, but... You know... Flying uh, flotilla. First off, you you need to be blockading. You are, I think, good. And uh, I want you specifically to be blockading the army of the Potomac, or more importantly, to blockade here. Or try to utilize you for, for real things. This clearly has not worked, so. Uh, bring you over to Memphis.
So the Army of Arkansas is sitting here. They don't want to attack. We're going to move these guys. And then they're going to promptly take Carol back. Which is a little frustrating. But they've got a lot of men over here, and we have to be cognizant of that. Um, I think that uh, these two guys will move right on into Knoxville from here. I think that's the uh, the best move I've got. Of course, these guys are going to need to get their readiness back up. But I think that's the best move I've got. Alright, so of these supply alerts... Okay, it's all those and then the Army of Indiana here, so we're... We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. Let's try and at least get through April here. Get to something like that. Okay. Um, well, first off, what I want to do is check this. Um, no men were recruited last month. Good. Well, I'm glad that these guys... Uh, have decided to do that. We're going to start the next episode with this battle. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you then.